Hi everybody, welcome to Petra's Happy Place. I tried this before and I got interrupted, so let's hope I can get through this without any interruption. Okay, well, maybe. All right, all right, forget about it. Okay, so um, I'm getting on today because I wanted to show you a couple Christmas cards that I got in the mail. And I also want to show you a knit crate box that I got in the mail. And I also want to talk to you about something. And um, yeah, so let's get cracking. So a couple days ago, I did get a Christmas card. And he's so cute. Look how cute he is. I want one. I want one. He's just adorable. And this is from Tracy from I Love, no, I Love Luby Crochet and Treasure. I'd get it out there. You know, it's kind of hard to remember everybody's real name and then their regular your YouTube channel name. And yeah, you get old and it gets hard. <laughs> so anyway, this was inside it and it was so stinking cute. Well, it's so cute, not stinking, because it doesn't stink. It smells kind of good. It smells like yarn. Anyway, it's so cute. His little beard is three-dimensional. Look at this. It's so cute. And his little beard. He's just adorable with the little pom-pom. Thank you, Tracy. I love, love, love him. He's so adorbs. Look how cute. Oops. Come on. We got to trim his mustache because it's getting up in his eyeball. <laughs> okay. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, Tracy. Okay. So, I got another card. And this one is from Pam, from Pamela's Creation. And this is so pretty. I love this card, this message. It's uh, Isaiah 9, 6, and it has a pretty little um, manger scene down here with the palm trees. I love those. That's really nice. And there's, oh, there's some cypress, cypress trees in the background. I love cypress. I love cypress trees, I mean. I've never been to Cyprus, so I don't know if I like it or not. But I love Cypress trees because I saw them when I was in Italy, and you just can't, I mean, they're just beautiful. I think in the movie Under the Tuscan Sun, somebody des described um, uh, palm uh, cypress trees as soulful, soulful, and I agree. I will concur. And she sent me some orange and spice tea. I am glad that she sent me orange and spice tea because, because I'm on keto, I don't do hot chocolate. And in the winter time, when it's cold outside, I like hot drinks. And since I can't do hot chocolate, I like tea. I like me some hot tea. And orange spice, I will tell you. I've had this before and I love it. I love the taste of it and I will drink all of it, not just half a cup. I like all of it. So there. Okay, thank you so much, Pam. I will think of you when I am drinking that tea from my Christmas mug. Okay, then the next card, well, the last card for today because I haven't gotten anything yet. This is the last card I got today. Is from Left is Right Crochet with Sandy. How pretty. Now, I saw that tree, and I thought of, in the movie, the bishop's wife, the professor gets himself a tree, that's what it looks like to me. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. And inside, hi 
I got a snowflake. She crocheted me a little snowflake. Isn't it beautiful? Beautiful. And I love it, Sandy. And I'll tell you why I love it. Because I know that each one of us is completely unique, just like every snowflake that falls from the sky is completely unique. And even though you might have made a hundred of these little snowflakes, each one is somehow just a teensy bit different. So I know I'm special because you've made me a snowflake. And we're all special and you're special and I love you because you're special and you're my friend. Thank you, Sandy. I love you, girl. I hope you're able to talk more. I miss you talking. Okay. Anywho. Um, now it's time for Knit Crate. Now I have to tell you, if you know anything about me, you know that don't like surprises. I don't like being surprised. I'm just don't like surprises and I don't like doing live, live unboxings. So you know I opened up the Knit Crate box. So this is open, but you can't see what's in it. I know what's in it, but you can't. So you ready? Okay, now I usually get, whoop, no, I usually get the chill out colorway, but this time I didn't. I got the natural. Da -da! Isn't that beauteous? Sandy, I think you gave me that word, didn't you? Beauteous. Beautimus. Beautimus. I don't want to get too much makeup on it because then I'd have to hand wash it before I use it. And what's it's no fun. So, this yarn is Vitalana. And Vitalana is how you pronounce it, I think. It's especially designed for Knit Crate, okay? It is 48% merino wool, 20% baby alpaca, and 32% organic cotton. It is 274 DK weight, um, hand wash only, lay flat to air dry. Now, I, I know right now on camera, on my phone it looks brown but in now I can't do it because my light has like a yellowish glow, glow on it but it has a little bit of a plum undertone so it is so pretty now I know some of you aren't able to use it because it has wool in it and I'm very sorry for you I'm sorry, sorry. I hope you didn't get the box because all the Knit Crate boxes have wool in them. But this, another reason why I liked it, it's because it's that um, chain spun. I mean, you can really see the chain in, in the yarn itself. I don't know. I don't know why the color keeps changing in the there you go. You can see a little bit of it on my skin. There you go. So anyway, so total of about 550 yards. So I think I could make a really nice project with that. And I'm hoping that they might even have some kind of a sale going on where maybe order more to make a bigger project. I don't know. But I like this color better than the other two colors, and that's why I got this one. So the other thing I got was, a, this is the little thing, a little extra, and it is a little pin. 
and it is that knit crate logo and I don't know why they put, hand it out to everybody because not everybody's a knitter that's okay I like it anyway because it's got yarn got yarn yarn y'all net what Joe says from Joe's web it's got yarn y'all okay so this is the book that comes with it okay and for those of you that are new to knit crate and this is something that you really haven't you know are familiar with they come with some some um, patterns inside of them a couple of them are for knitters and a couple of them are for crocheters and they usually have one large project for the knit oh I'm sorry let's let's do this one these were the different colors See, I chose that one, and then this was the chill out color, and then that one was the um, energize me. So this one has a more of a pinky tone, and then this one has a more green tone. This is called mistletoe, and that one is called mittens, but mine is called fireside, and that is where I will be in my mind because I don't have a fireplace but I've got like a little electric one it's kind of the same so anywho got some sock yarn so if anybody got the sock box and then here's the patterns okay so here's some socks that are crocheted here's the knit socks pattern then this is some leg warmers that are knitted. And this scarf, oops, well, it's kind of hard. Yeah, this burgundy scarf here. Well, actually, it's that pink color, but that is crocheted. And those are the four projects. And then it goes into all of the different, you know, all the different actual instructions and one of the things that I liked I'm going to show you this I um, I like that they have the actual written instructions but then they also have a chart and I just think that that's kind of neat because it'll help me learn how to read charts then the last thing that I want to show you is on the very back they have okay let me just show you this this is the theme the theme is called uh, citrine okay so I mean this whole page is yellow you know and then it's got this stuff in here now how they do that is they they you look at all these pictures and there are three colorways that they choose for the boxes, for the membership boxes, are going to come from somewhere in those pictures. So I'm seeing some teals and turquoise and dark greens for the Energize Me kit. And I'm also seeing some red, uh, oranges and yellows and uh, yeah some really vibrant oranges and yellows and maybe a little bit of burgundy even some like red or pink dots in here for the energize me okay the greens and blues are chill out and then as far as the natural oh boy there's a lot of dark browns and like here's all the different color browns there's some brown brown and then here's this would be considered a brown that's a, not a brown but that would be considered a neutral so anyway there's some choices and we will find out those that want to look um they always a um, knit crate on youtube has a they have their own channel and at the end of well let's see they're the middle of the month around but about the 20th 19th they come out with a preview and where you can choose your colorway 
and you have a little bit of time before the end of the month to change it if you want or just continue or sign up, period. I think that's kind of neat. Okay, so all that is the fun stuff. Now, I want to discuss something else with you. Now, if you've um, watched my last video, I specifically titled it Non-Yarny Video. And I have found that there were some that loved the video. I, I went through and I read all the comments and most of them were um, very supportive and kind and I really do appreciate that because you know again I want to reiterate this is my channel okay and I don't even have crochet in my title and I specifically did it that way because as I said in previous videos there's more to me than just crochet so that's why I named it happy place yes I have yarn as a backdrop sometimes and sometimes I don't and sometimes I have plants and sometimes I have my mom's kitchen and um, but no matter where I am if I'm talking about things that I love and that I enjoy and that I'm passionate about and bring me happiness I am in my happy place now I am inviting all of you to come join me and if you don't care to join me in my non yarny environment I don't you don't need to do that. I mean, I'm, I'm specifically telling you this is not going to be anything related to crochet or yarn. So if you happen to watch that video and you don't like the fact that I'm not talking about yarn, that's really not on me. That's on you. <laughs> and I can't please everybody. But I'm trying to make sure that you understand that I'm trying to keep you in mind. I love all of my subscribers, and whether they join me because, I don't know, they like the dog that's in the background, or, you know, they like seeing the colorful yarns, or, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. But um, this is my forum, and as long as I am not going against the regulations that YouTube has set forth as far as the, um, you know, whether it's for children or not, and I have complied, I honestly don't think I have anything to worry about because. It's not like I'm monetized anyway. It's not like they're going to take anything away from me. You know, um, I don't think I have anything to worry about. And um, so I can't please you. And if you don't want to subscribe and if you want to unsubscribe, I, I totally understand. I'm not out for numbers. I'm out because I want to encourage as many people as I possibly can with the gifts and the talents and the words that I've been blessed with and if um, you haven't if you take issue with that and you don't want me to talk about those things you have a choice either not to watch those videos or to unfollow me period that's up to you so I'm sorry um, that I hurt you I don't mean to but I know that I'm in an okay place I you know I need to start learning how to um, be careful of what I say I know that but I'm also not gonna make excuses for sharing my faith um, that's that's how I feel I'm not going to make excuses or 
apologize for being who I am and having faith in Christ. I'm not going to do that. Um, so if YouTube shuts me down, <laughs> that's a, that's all them. And if you don't want to like me, you don't want to like my channel, that's okay too. Um, you know, like I always tell people that, you know, get so frustrated with the news or hate a certain show on TV, turn it off. If you, you change the channel, if you don't like it, change the channel or don't watch, you know, you have that clicker in your hand and you have that ability to do that with any YouTube videos, you know, they're just videos. So, but I want everybody to know that I love you dearly. I count you all as my friends. All my subscribers have become friends. Um, some I correspond with more and I interact with more and that's great. And those that I don't interact with that much or not at all, that doesn't mean I don't care about you. I do. I love you. And I thank you for even thinking highly enough of me to push that subscribe button. That means a lot. So anyway, that's all I got to say about that. All right. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to take off. I will see you on Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern. I will be doing a live from Happy Mama's house. And um, I'll be spending the day with her. So that will be interesting. That will be fun. And maybe she'll even join me for a little while. Who knows? So um, I just remember, I love you all very, very much. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.